What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. Today, we'll be taking a look at the starting lineup for the 2024 Bank of America Roll 400 at the Charlotte Roval. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. Starting on the pole, we have three-time Supercars champion Shane Van Gisberg in the 13 car for Collar Racing and won his first current NASCAR Cup Series pole. And starting in second position, we have two-time NASCAR Xfinity Series champion Tyler Reddick in the 45 car for 2311 Racing. Starting in third position, we have the winner of the Charlotte Roble NASCAR Cup Series race from last year. AJ Allmendinger in the 16 car for Collar Racing is starting in fourth position. We have two-time NASCAR Cup Series champion in 2015 Daytona 500 winner, Joe Logano on the 22 car for Team Penske. Starting in 5th position, we have 2020 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion and 2022 Daytona 500 winner, Austin Erk in the 2 car for Team Penske. And starting in 6th position, we have 2021 NASCAR Cup Series champion and 2024 Coca uh, Brickyard 400 winner, Kyle Larson in the 5 car for Hendrick Motorsports. Starting in 7th position, we have 2020 NASCAR Cup Series champion Chase Selling in the 9 car for Hendrick Motorsports. And starting in 8th position, we have 2012 NASCAR Cup Series champion and 2010 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion Brad Kozlowski in a 6 car for RFK Racing. Starting in ninth position, we have Bubba Wallace in a 23 car for 2311. So looking for his first win of 2024. Is starting in 10th position, we have the 2024 Daytona 500 winner and 2017 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion William Byron in the 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports. Starting in 11th position, we have two-time NASCAR Cup Series champion Kyle Busch in the 8 car for Richard Schultz Racing. Is starting in 12th position, we have the 2024 Coco 600 winner and 2017 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion Christopher Bell the 20 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. Starting in 13th position, we have 2016 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion and winner from Atlanta earlier this year, Daniel Swartz in the 99 car for Trackhouse Racing. And starting in 14th position, we have 2023 NASCAR Cup Series champion and 2023 Coca Cola 600 winner, Ryan Blaney in the 12 car for Team Penske. Starting in 15th position, we have Todd Gill in the 38 car for Front Row Motorsports. And starting in 16th position, we have the winner from Kansas a couple weeks ago, Ross Chassin in the 1 car for Trackhouse Racing. Starting in 17th position, we have the winner of the Chicago Street Course from earlier this year, Alex Bowman in the 48 car for Hendrick Motorsports. And starting in 18th position, we have three-time Daytona 500 winner, Denny Hill in the 11 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. Starting in 19th position, we have 2022 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion Ty Gibbs in the 54 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. And starting in 20th position, we have Carson Osbar in the 77 car for Spire Motorsports. Starting in 21st position, we have the 2021 Daytona 500 winner Michael McDowell in the 34 car for Front Row Motorsports. And starting in 22nd position, we have the Xfinity Truck Champion in 2018 Daytona 500 winner Austin Dillon in the 3 car for Richard Childress Racing. Starting 23rd position, we have the 2022 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion Zane Smith in the 71 car for Spire Motorsports. And starting in 24th position, we have the winner from Talladega last weekend, 2023 Daytona 500 winner and two-time NASCAR Xfinity Series champion Ricky Sounds Jr. in the 47 car for JTG Doherty Racing. Starting 25th position, we have the 2024 Southern 500 winner Chase Briscoe in the 14 car for Stuart Haas Racing. And starting in 26th position, we have the winner from Daytona earlier this year, Harris Burton in the 21 car for the Wood Brothers. Starting in 27th position, we have the 2021 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion Dale Hemrick in the 31 car for Colleague Racing. And starting in 28th position, we have Corley joined the 51 car for Rick Ware. So looking for a job headed into 2025. Starting in 29th position, we have 2015 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion Chris Busch in the 17 car for RFK who won a Watkins Glen earlier this year. And starting in 30th position, we have 2017 NASCAR Cup Series champion Marge Trek Jr., in the 19 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. Starting in 31st position, we have Kaz Grawl in the 15 car for Rick Ware Racing. And starting in 32nd position, we have Noah Grayson in the 10 car for Stuart Haas Racing. Starting in 33rd position, we have Justin Haley in the 7 car for Spire Motorsports. And starting in 34th position, we have Ryan Priest in the 41 car for Stuart Haas. Still looking for a ride even though he's most likely going to be at RFK next year. Starting in 35th position, we have John Hermacek in the 42 car for Legacy, who has a new crew chief, that being Brian Campy. And starting in 36th position, we have Josh Berry in the 4 car for Stuart Haas Racing. Starting in 37th position, we have two-time Southern 500 winner and 2015 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series champion Eric Jones in the 43 car for Legacy Motor Club. And starting in 38th and last position, we have Josh Balicki in the number 66 car for MBM Motorsports. 
So that is the starting lineup for the 2024 Bank of America Roll 400. What are the big storylines going into this race? Well, number one, the potential chaos. There is a new quarter in turn number seven where I think a lot of drivers are going to dive on. We saw quite a bit of that in the NASCAR Xfinity Series race. Drivers like Shane Van Gisberg, and of course, will be starting on the pole. Drivers like AJ Allmendinger were using that. Sam Mayer was using at that at points to try to get an advantage. If you can dive bomb the corner, you could have a chance and opportunity to make a really strong and great pass through that corner. The Hendrickars look extremely strong. They're trying to become only the third team in NASCAR Cup Series history since this platform has started back in 2014 to have all four of their cars in. The last time it happened was with Stuart Haas Racing when they had all four of their cars go in, that being Clint Boyer, Kevin Harvick, Eric Amaral, and Kurt Busch. 2016, you had Carl Edwards, Matt Kenseth, Kyle Busch, and Denny Hamill all make that round. There are big storylines. There's drivers that were quick. Austin Sender, who had really good speed in practice, starting up front. Joe Logano looked really saw who's 13 points below. He's starting up front. But I think that most likely, the where everyone's kind of standing at the moment, is most likely going to end up staying the same. I think it's going to be a track position race. It's going to be very difficult to pass, except in turn number seven. If you can get that run through there, you could have a chance and opportunity to pass. There's also controversy from the NASCAR Xfinity Series race, where they had the restart stuff and all that, which we're not really going to get to that here. But obviously, there's a lot coming out of this weekend. There's a new Damage Beagle policy update, which I found to be a good decision on their part. I think there's a lot of very interesting things that are going to happen. The Chevys look good. The Toyotas have speed. The Fords also look really good. I think this race could be very intriguing and really, really exciting, hopefully. But I'm keeping my hopes a little bit down, considering the fact that the racing on road courses in the next gen era has not been the greatest in the world. I really hope we can get a good race today and we can have a good duel like we had at Watkins Glen between Chris Buescher and Shane Van Gisbergen early in the year, but I'm kind of leaving my expectations lower. Hopefully we get a good race and prove me wrong and we can have a solid race at the Charlotte Roval for the NASCAR Cup Series cars this weekend, which is today. I'm excited. Hopefully the race can be good, but I'm not sure what we're going to get today at the Charlotte Roval, to be honest. So, that is going to be for the NASCAR Cup Series starting lineup video for the Bank of America Roval 400. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Notifications on so if I win a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support on Patreon as well. Let's go to more of that and comment your thoughts below on today's episode. Who's your pick to win the NASCAR Cup Series race at the Charlotte Roval? Let me know it in the comments below. Later today on the channel, of course, you'll see the NASCAR Cup Series race be from the Charlotte Roval. You also most likely will see an SVG video unless he goes to Victor Lane, which in that case would do the video then. And then on Monday, there'll be a NASCAR news video discussing news over the course of the last couple days. We'll talk more about the controversy. We'll talk about other drivers like Haley Deegan perhaps this week as well. There's going to most likely be an entry list video for the Las Vegas race coming up. And then on Wednesday, there should be an Ask Our News video discussing over the course of the last couple of days, along with the Xfinity Series race picks for the race at Las Vegas. Got a lot of great content dropping pretty soon that I cannot wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode. And I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content, other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.